let's play around with Vue.js basics. I'm gonna teach you how to get started Vue.js quickly. I'm gonna use this CDN. I've already attached the starter kit project. There is nothing more, it's an index.html file. I use the Vue.js CDN, so you can use the Vue.js inside your index.js file. I've added my script file index.js. When you when you render or when you open the index.html file into your browser, you will see the console.log. Hello world. It means our starter files are working. Now it's time to show you how to use how to learn about the basics of UJS. This is called declarative render data if you want to render a variable so you can use the data property so first of all to use the view we have to create a new view instance i'm going to say var app new view because i'm going to create a new instance you can use this view because this view class is created inside this js file view js file so I have to add our element with app ID. I'm telling to view whatever here, you have to render everything inside this div with this ID, which is app. You can change the ID or maybe you can do root. You can say it root, whatever you wanna do. And finally, you can provide the data Let's say I'm going to provide the message. Welcome to Vue.js. So how can you access this message here? I'm going to do the message here. I have to use the double sign, double brackets. They are following the Angular pattern. Now you can see the welcome to Vue.js. Let me log the app, what is inside the app. Refresh the browser, we have the view instance. You can see the message, app.message. Whatever you will define the property inside the data object, you can access that from the app. So this is how you will get started with view quickly. Let's play around. You can read this text. We have already created the Vue.js. This data and the DOM are linked and everything is reactive. No longer to interact with HTML. You can also use this one, vbind.title or you can bind the title. Let's try to do that. I'm gonna bind the title with span. vbind title message. Let's try to check it out. The bind colon title and we have the message. Hello world. Let's try to do that. This is called the interpolation. This one. This is the interpolation. So we displayed the welcome to Vue.js message. This is called the interpolation. You can also execute some message here. Let's say that I'm gonna use backtick. You can also execute function. Let's say new date. I'm gonna try to log the date. You can also get the date. You can also do some conditional rendering by using the v if. Let's say that. Scene should be true. Let's say I'm going to use follow the same convention. Scene should be true. Let me use the v if. Let's use the paragraph v if. 
if sin is true then we need to render some text render some text so scene is true i'm going to set the scene value to false it's me it's a reactive now you will not see the render some text You can also do v4 with arrays let's try to do that i'm gonna create some arrays here inside the data let's say i'm gonna call it to do id which is one name learn view let's add another id name mongo stuff like that so i'm gonna use the v4 Let's try to use the V4 ally V4. We have to provide our array. So you can use the to do in this is the name of the array. You have to use the in for iteration. Iterate this is called iterative property. So I can access to do to do dot let's say that name. Now I got the learn view and the mongo. Let's try to add a new ID, which is three, name, Jane, stuff like that. Learn Angular. Now you can see the values. Let's try to do some logic here. If you will add a new item by using app dot to do's dot push you will see a new item push i'm going to provide the name id which is four let's provide the name you can choose any name here learn apollo Syntax error. I have to close this one. Cool. This is the magic here. You can see the learn Apollo. And I got the length, which is 4. If you want to handle the user input, you can also do that by creating the button. I'm going to create a new button here. Let's say that. Oops. We have to do the button. You can use the V on to fire the content to actually call your click listener. V on, let's provide the name here. Hello, or you can say that submit. On submit, let's say that on submit. Or you can say click handler. Click handler. Click me. I did not define this method in our index.js file. So I'm going to define the method here. I think I got to use the methods. Click me, click handler. Click handler. When you click on this one, you will see the alert message. Hello view. I'm gonna see the button. Click me. What is wrong with that? Alert is not defined. Yeah, alert is not defined. I'm gonna log message. Refresh the browser. Click me, now you can see the hello view, hello view. This is how you will perform the handling user input. Now I'm gonna teach you how to create the component. I also wanna teach you user input, how to handle that. Let's create a new input. So 
so I gotta use the V model, the name of the property. I'm gonna say the text, or you can choose anything here. Let's say person name or fruit. Let's say that input fruit. So I have to use the two way data binding. So you can also bind this data property to our input. I'm gonna say that F I U I T fruit apple now you will see the input box which is apple you can also check the property here this is two-way data binding apple you can see our value 